God bless everyone. Thank you for stopping back in for a quick prayer tool this week. Uh, today, our focus, our prayer tool is cut a hole in the roof. And you might not believe me, so we're starting with the scriptures. This is Luke chapter 5, verses 17 to 26, a little bit of a lengthy reading from the New American Standard Bible. One day he was teaching, he is Jesus, and there were some Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting there who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present for him to perform healing. And some men were carrying on a bed a man who was paralyzed, and they were trying to bring him in and to set him down in front of him. But not finding any way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and led him down through the tiles with his stretcher into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. Verse 20, seeing their faith, he said, friend, your sins are forgiven you. He is Jesus. That red letter is Jesus speaking. The scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, who is this man who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But Jesus, aware of their reasonings, and, and answered and said to them, Why are you reasoning in your hearts? Which is easier, to say, Your sins have been forgiven you, or to say, Get up and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, Get up and pick up your stretcher and go home. Immediately he got up before them and picked up what he had been lying on and went home glorifying God. They were all struck with astonishment and began glorifying God and they were filled with fear saying, we have seen remarkable things today. All right, good morning. I am excited. Now you'll hear this a lot if you stick with me with prayer tools and these little prayer scopes. I am excited about this passage of scripture because if you are familiar with Luke chapter 5 verses 17 to 26, then maybe for you, the experience was the same. This was the first place I remember that uh, understanding in the scripture that faith could be seen. Faith can be seen and it's powerful because the principle is that behavior follows belief. Behavior follows belief. What we do, the reason why we do it is because we believe something. True or false, scripture or not, Christian or not, whatever we believe comes through us in our behavior. So when we apply that through the lenses of prayer, that means that prayer is a witness of faith. Prayer is something that can not only be heard and felt and experienced, but prayer can be seen. And what we find in Luke 5, verses 17 to 26, I hope you're getting excited, is that prayer is sometimes the action. These four friends in a crowded setting, in a active setting, in a setting with a lot of moving parts and circumstances, they had a need that needed to get to God. And instead of cutting through all of the obstacles or all of the resistance, what they did was strategically go high. And prayer leaders, this strategy of cutting a hole in the roof will always serve you well. It will always serve you well. Uh, you find here the prayer of agreement because we had four friends. You find here the strength of agreement because together they had to lift this friend. And then while we can imagine that while one was cutting the hole in the roof, that the others had to secure the friend on the roof. And it's possible that back then the roofs were flat, not um, uh, cornered like we see ours today coming up into a point but the idea is to get the prayer through, get the prayer through. And when there is a list of impossibilities, a list of resistance, a list of contrary factors that could send the prayer away uh, from the favor of the target of prayer, the person, the nation, the situation, uh, what you want to do is cut a hole in the roof and you want to uh, bypass, go over the head 
of all of the resistance, bypass it and lower it before the feet of the Lord. That is the act of surrender. And I want us to consider that in the later verses of this passage, what we find is that once they lowered, once the four friends lowered the paralytic before the feet of Jesus, he took it from there. Jesus took it from there. And the end result was a, a, a miracle, a teaching about the Lordship of Christ and the consensus of the people that we have seen, verse 26, remarkable things today. And so prayer leaders, let me take the pressure off. Again, the results uh, do not belong to us. Ours is to show the witness of faith through prayer. And when it comes necessary, when the rubber meets the road, when the situation or the prayer need is above your level, you think, or above your grade, or you've tried to pray with what you know to do, and you feel like you're hitting a wall in the spirit, and it's not going anywhere, go high, cut a hole in the roof. It works every time. <laughs> cut a hole in the roof, submit the need before the feet of the Lord, and you can call on the redemptive work of Christ who was able to say, which is better to say uh, your sins are forgiven or to say you're healed. But so you know that the son of man has the power to forgive sins. This is what we'll do. Get up, take your bed, keep walking. And so uh, see your faith, let your faith be seen in the work of prayer. Let your faith be seen in the labor of prayer. Let your faith be seen as a witness of the Lordship of Christ, where in prayer, yes, we can declare, yes, we can decree, but the power in the declaration is cutting the hole in the roof and remembering that when we lower that need, that person, that circumstance, that nation, that, that concern before the feet of the risen Christ, uh, that, that resurrection is possible, that the power of God is present to heal. Hope this is an encouragement. God bless you. Keep praying. We'll see you next week.